The game doesn't do a very good job of explaining sharpness to new players, so I thought I'd make this guide to show you a little bit more about it because it really does affect the amount of damage that you're doing. And I do get a lot of questions asking about which weapon should I use based on its sharpness. The chart here shows that you need green or above to be doing 100% or more of your weapon's potential. Each hit basically takes one unit of sharpness. The blue here represents about 30, so after 30 hits, you'll see your sharpness go down to green. You need to take this into consideration as some weapons will trade higher sharpness for longer sharpness, and that also does create good damage output. There are certain attacks that take more than one unit of sharpness that you should be aware about. In particular, gun lance shelling will eat through two to three units of sharpness depending on the type of gun lance you're using. Also guarding with the charge blade or the great sword will result to two to ten units of sharpness loss. In high rank and above, you want to be going for a skill called sharpness plus one. This will take a often mediocre weapon and turn it into an absolute powerhouse by adding one, two, or even three units of extra sharpness to its arsenal. You'll notice a lot of G weapons get purple sharpness through this skill. Sharpness is more than just damage. If your sharpness is low and you're attacking a hard part of a monster, your attack will bounce off, as you'll see coming up. If you bounce off, you will eat through double the sharpness, and the animation of course will knock you out, meaning you won't be able to combo, and you might even get hit. I don't know the exact numbers, but I've read many times that if you bounce off, you're going to be doing half to a third of your original attack power. So it's another thing you might want to consider. Also bouncing off is a good sign that you're attacking a hard part of a monster anyways. So take the time to look online, find out um, the weak spots, and attack those. The skill's mind eye will make it so you don't bounce off, but you'll still lose sharpness and you'll still likely be doing less damage. Still, it's a good skill to have for G rank, where a lot of monsters require purple sharpness in order not to bounce off. Finally, there are special moves that count that as having higher sharpness. What this means is that not only do you do more damage, but those certain attacks are less likely to bounce off. Here's a small list. You'll notice that the greatsword charging goes all the way up to 30% more damage just in sharpness modification. So it's actually very powerful and less likely to bounce off. And if you're using a long sword or a greatsword, if you hit very close to an enemy and you hit them with the center of your blade, you're going to be doing more damage and bouncing off less likely as well. There's a skill called Razor Sharp, which is really hard to get with sharpness plus one, that essentially halves the sharpness uh, for each attack. I think this is an incredibly powerful skill and something worth going for. If you can't get it though, go for Fast Sharpen and Sharpness plus one. They're pretty good as well. Finally, you'll notice that a Whetstone restores about 150 sharpness and a Mini or a Knife Macro about 50 units, so they're not quite the same. I hope you enjoy uh, learning about sharpness and enjoy the game a little bit more. Happy hunting.